what's going on? That is a 3D printer. And you know me, I 3D print a few things. This printer, if you look here, number one. Let me tell you about this. This is the first Prusa I got. And when I was doing 3D printing and starting, I started with Enders. And they were really nice. I didn't want to spend the money on something like this. So I bought the cheaper ones first. And they did great. Uh, but they just took a lot more maintenance. And I've had this one for over two years now. And from a maintenance standpoint, let's look at what the clock is. And then let me show you something. The clock on this printer. It is printed 20,493.98 meters of filament, and it has been printing for 292 days and two hours. And this printer came back because it had a problem, came back, it came off the shelf, the wife sent it in, because when I move this, if you look, I'm pushing on this bed. Okay, now I got it moving again, so. I'm trying to pull it right now. There, oh, it's locked again now. It's locked again now. So it was uh, causing layer shifts. And I'll show you. Some people say it's the linear bearings or the bearing rods, something like that. So if I take this stepper motor off. All right, so we're gonna look at just the stepper motor. So it's turning in that part and now it's locking. It's turning a little bit. It's not at all easy to turn, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, but then it gets to a certain spot and it locks up. So I reached out to Prusa and I said, hey, I have this printer. I don't know what the warranty is, but it said, give us the serial number. And I see a lot of people commenting about how Prusa support sucks. I just uploaded the two YouTube videos because they were over 10 megs to my channel. Sent them the links, showed it to them. They're like, yep, stepper motor. I was like, okay, I thought that. But they didn't fight me, none of that. But they said, unfortunately, this printer's over two years old, so it is not under warranty. But you know what I said? I said, that's cool. You guys are super nice. I love your product. Thanks for your help. I'll buy one. So 38 bucks, that printer will be back up and running. So whenever people ask me, what printer do I recommend? I say that one. That printer rocks. It's the Prusa i3 MK3. I think they're up to 3S plus, but it's a Mark III. Uh, then they have the Mark III S and then the Mark III S plus or vice versa, the Mark III, whatever. So they had like Mark II and all that, but I've been buying them since Mark III S's have been out and I've upgraded this to this new clips. Oh yeah, and look, look at how smooth that moves. So nothing wrong with it, right? Upgraded those. I put this stubby on to fit under our shelves. I just love these printers. They run solid. They run for months straight. Every once in a while, I have to deal with some oozing. And that's because nozzles get loose. Tighten the nozzle up, clean it up. They're good to go. They actually said they've seen printers last longer. They said they've seen printers last less. But it's over two years. So if you want a 3D printer... That's gonna be my recommendation. They're like 800 bucks, I think before shipping, when I upgrade the plates and they just rock. So I'm posting this because some of you might've seen those little two videos pop up. I was just rushing through it and I'm not complaining because this thing rocks and I've got like a bunch of them. So I should know. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Subscribe and click stuff.